Hey everyone, Tony here for the Civ Sim channel. Welcome you back to War Thunder Wings of Rama uh, Malta. This time I'm taking up the uh, Mark 1 Boomerang. Uh, or Mark 2, I forget which one it was. Um, up uh, in a historical battle against uh, the Germans once more. Um, now, the Boomerang is another uh, premium aircraft. Um, and uh, I believe the Mark 1 and Mark 2, um, the only big difference, I think, um, the ammo loads tend, at least on the uh, stats on War Thunder, which tend to be uh, uh, outdated, um, unfortunately, on the uh, stats look just about the same. The only big difference is the Mark 2 seems to have like 10 miles per hour faster, or is 10 miles per hour faster on the stats than the uh, Mark 1, so not really that much of a difference between the Mark 1 and Mark 2. Um, they're not that expensive, um, in fact, I recently got both of the, um, uh, the boomerangs when they were on sale, so, uh, for only, like, a few dollars, so, uh, they're, they're very cheap, um, uh, premium aircraft, but very nice, uh, right now I'm just, uh, scouting to see, uh, if I can find any enemy aircraft, um, I believe I spotted one of the AI, in this game there were, like, three or four AI, so uh, I decided to, uh, you know, uh, go for the easy kills, but also they're important kills. Um, loop in the back now, trying to see if I can't uh, catch on them. I don't want to overshoot and lose a lot of energy. I want to try and keep my energy. And I decided to, uh, I believe, pass on this particular AI. But, um, you know, you want to, in historical battles, take out the AI because... Um, in certain matches I've seen where, you know, you don't take out the AI and then the AI end up being the last one standing and then it's like, you know, the game being determined over those stupid bots, you know, one crashing before the other and, and, and that's no way to lose or win a game, uh, you know, uh, especially um, games like this one which are going to be very dynamic. So uh, here I am dropping in on another uh, one of the uh, biplanes. Overshot though, but I'm not going to turn. I'm going to do what uh, a lot of the Germans do and what the boomerangs is actually very good at. It's a very good boom and zoomer, uh, as well as a turn fighter. It's a very versatile aircraft. It can, uh, it's good for both uh, turning and uh, in this case, um, going up and looping around. So that's what I'm doing right now, like a hawk. That was a pretty awesome loop, if I don't say so myself. Diving back down. There he is. And got him. Took out his wing, and now I'm climbing back out. Uh, this is a very interesting match, because I'm going to do the same uh, maneuver twice. Um, you know, they usually say that the uh, you know same routine doesn't work twice. In this particular match, it does. I'll try the uh, same technique with another biplane in uh, just a minute or two and um, uh, almost the same exact way looped around him came back down took off his uh, wing with the cannons so uh, which this has it has the uh, 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 awesome Hispano cannons as well as the um, regular uh, machine gun so pretty good aircraft again looping around spy the uh, next victim there we go And boom! <laughs> ah, that's just too funny. Wings off with uh, both of them. Tesla and, um, was it Henry? I forgot who the other one was. Um, so, there's kill number two. Again, zooming back up. And at this point, I'm just you know, looking to see uh, where the uh, enemies are. Um, just to see if I can't spot anyone else. I've taken care of most of the AI. How it's just, um, you know, looking for enemy aircraft. And uh, our team has been outflanked a little. Uh, there's going to be a BF-110 that's uh, going to be um, harassing the uh, base, which I'm going to notice in just a uh, few moments. But right now I'm just uh, spotting, trying to see if I can't find anyone. So, just looking to see if there's 
any targets. So right now I'm just playing because sometimes they're at uh, one of the uh, there's a base the Germans have, which is um, in Malta, which is um, near that uh, little uh, bay type uh, area. And sometimes they're around there and up, and that will actually uh, turn up. Someone would be landing at one of those airfields later on, but I'll get to that when I get to it. Uh, right now, just turning around, looking for um, different aircraft to spot. Now, uh, while I'm doing that, might as well give a few fun facts about the uh, boomerang, which entered service during World War II uh, for the uh, Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation. Uh, it was an Australian. Um, aircraft uh, and it was designed as an interceptor to defend against the uh, to defend Austria and uh, British um, assets uh, from the Japanese and uh, now um, at this point in the uh, game back to the action I have spotted um, that uh, BF 110 over the base and uh, one of my uh, teammates is landing needs to repair and so uh, I'm going to provide uh, air cover for our base. Again, uh, just letting uh, him know that uh, by warping my wings, uh, although I don't think he noticed, um, you know, that uh, I'm there ready for action. I'm just going to dive low over the base, make sure that uh, that BF-110 doesn't get a clear shot. Now, one of the interesting things is that that BF-110 really didn't seem to... Um, prioritized like uh, the BF-1 of 10 had a, a quite a good shot at that guy but uh, uh, luckily for my teammate um, he just stuck around going over the coast and I'm not sure why but I'm going to spot him in a second and another teammate of mine has also spotted him in the uh, background so I'm going to try and get a few shots into him as soon as I spot him there he is coming right on now I'm going to overshoot just a little about, I think I got one or two hits into him, and then just as I turned, one of my teammates just, boom, they just ram each other. <laughs> oh, uh, gotta love it when that happens. So, um, basically, my teammate and that BF-110 uh, collided. Uh, we'll try and do a head-on, just like I did, and um, basically, there goes the uh, kill. <laughs> And I, I really dislike when that happens because sometimes you'll put some uh, hits into an aircraft and then they'll be ran by someone and you don't get the kill and it's like, oh, come on. You know, I, I really miss it when you could just, you know, get the kill even if you were rammed because, you know, now it's turned into an opposite. You can now, you know, ram to deny a kill and it, it, it well, I suppose you can never win, I suppose, so, oh well. Uh, now I'm low on uh, ammo and everything, so I've basically just turned around and uh, slowed down, reduced some of my altitude, got my flaps down in gear, and uh, now I'm going to land to uh, reload. Don't really need to repair that much. Didn't really have any damage. So I'm just going down to repair now, and just got to clear the threshold and everything. But yeah, that's one of the things in War Thunder that. Um, you know that Gaijin has done very well. I was listening to um, you know players' comments and their feedback, and you know in a game, you know you, there's no way you're going to be able to make it, you know, idiot-proof or um, cheater-proof. You know, someone's always going to get the um, advantage, whether it's you know ramming someone to deny another player a kill, or before just ramming to get a kill. You know, all those sorts of things. Um, but Gaijin has done a very good job. So uh, kudos to them and uh, to the developers. All right, so I've repaired, refueled, and now I'm gonna be uh, getting ready to uh, head back on, up into the air. Yep, there we go. Sliding just a little bit. And uh, now I'm just going to take off and uh, regroup with my one buddy. There's still uh, two or three uh, enemies up. So uh, one of the uh, things that I'm uh, right now, and I wish chat would be, uh, I've said it a few times in uh, replays, and hopefully uh, eventually they will, um, uh, in a few future patches in the replays, put, you know, like the marker settings and, um, you know, chat and everything in the uh, replays to uh, make it a little bit easier because, now, sometimes, um, you know, we don't know if a game's going to be good or not when recording, or I don't at least, so, 
you know, sometimes um, the replays um, are the only way I could really get the videos up. So again, I'm climbing. I believe I've spotted someone. There's uh, someone high near the base, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there goes the uh, flak. The the AA um, always tells you when there's an aircraft around. So, and I've no, I know that he's uh, well higher than me. So I'm just gonna dive down. Uh, make sure that uh, I don't make myself an easy target. And I got to build some speed here, but I'm gonna turn around, gonna close in. My one teammate's distracting him though, so that's a good thing. Of course, I gotta give him some cover. Yep. As you can see, he just uh, dived on my teammate over there. I'm just trying to see if I can't get a few um, uh, sniper shots on him, but uh, to no avail. And very maneuverable. It's a one, one, two, I believe. That uh, Heinkel, which is a very uh, uh, good uh, low-tier uh, German aircraft. And yep, I believe they. Nope. Not sure what that was. Oh, he was taking out the uh, a the uh, base artillery. Now he's going low. Now I'm not gonna turn into him because I'm a little too sharp and a little too low to the trees, and I don't want to crash into the trees. And so I just uh, decided to gain some altitude and loop around. Of course, my teammate gets him. So, um, at this point, we're not really sure, um, how many are left. Um, there's one that has a crash indicator when I checked the, uh, stats, uh, but was still in, and, you know, he could be at the base repairing, so that doesn't always mean anything. So, basically, me and my partner, uh, who's one of the, uh, last, um, uh, of our, uh, team, uh, who's up and still flying, and, or able to fly, basically, we're talking and saying, you know, let's climb over the base, Let's gain some altitude in case they uh, come back. So that way, if uh, you know, that way we have the altitude advantage instead of the disadvantage like we just had. Of course, um, other than altitude, um, having numbers is also a big advantage and skill. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into a game, and that's one of the reasons why I like historical battles is that there's so many dynamics that uh, make the game. Of course, there's uh, three aircraft. There's one. Uh, AI that's left, which is uh, going to be, uh, well, you'll see uh, for yourself in just a moment. So right now I've climbed, gained some altitude, and uh, now I'm just heading uh, forward. My teammate wanted to say, hey, let's go get him. So I said, all right, let's go. And so now I'm uh, leading um, at high altitude. He's a little bit lower than I am in the spit uh, Mark 1, which isn't uh, that good at climbing, and I look down and I see uh, a uh, JU-87 uh, landing at the um, airfield, the uh, Stuka dive bomber, and those things are pretty slow, so I decide that, um, and here I am maneuvering, turning a few turns, trying to slow down and also make sure I don't overshoot, so again, just turning. Now I'm going to dive. Got to watch out also for the um, uh, cargo ship uh, guns, anti-aircraft, which are very potent as well. I believe my teammate gets shot down by that. So yeah, very powerful. So here I am going down. To put in some uh, bullets into him, but I will not. Yep. There he is. He's on fire. I've technically, for all intensive purposes, killed him. Um, and uh, now I'm going to go back, and, and this shows just how important it is uh, to finish a kill, uh, even though that's not necessarily a nice move, but hey, historically it did happen in real life, uh, aircraft shooting aircraft as they lined it, so it's perfectly fair in the game. So I'm about ready to shoot, and then there's that AI, and he hits me. We, we collide. <laughs> And uh, there he goes. I chop off his wing again. That's my uh, third uh, AI kill. Although I don't get the kill because it was a ram. But um, 
Uh, it just goes to show how effective the boomerang is. Um, now I've got like a, a black wing, but uh, I'm still flying. So I'm gonna, you know, at this point I probably should have been heading back to the base, but I decided, hey, I, I want to finish off that JU. Um, uh, unfortunately, at this point, that uh, collision really um, got me uh, sidetracked from what I was trying to do, so now I've got re-maneuver so that way I don't overshoot when I try to hit him and also I gotta watch out for the uh, ships again trying to come in I was a little um, too close so now I gotta go back out again and while I'm doing this his other teammate who's gone to his um, uh, his friend who's at the base is now making his way on over so uh, um, and this is one of the things that uh, lessons to be learned is that if you are damaged at this point what I could have done is just kept going back to my base which in hindsight I probably should have done um, at this point uh, my friend has uh, been shot down by the uh, uh, aircraft guns over there and so now he's taking up he didn't uh, completely die the fire went out and so that JU uh, was lucky trying to take him out as he's running but uh, at least on the ground he's quite fast and also I came in at a bad angle and also not only do I have a damaged wing but now I'm getting very low on ammunition I've ran out of cannons for the most part now so it's all gonna be to the machine guns so now diving on him. Now had I had my cannons left, I really probably could have easily uh, uh, took him down again uh, for uh, permanently. But uh, that was not to be. And getting, uh, I'm clearly on a six. Firing, he's firing at me too, getting some damage into me. I've criticaled him. He's been criticaled. But um, the. Uh, that guy, that JUE, uh, he, he was a very lucky pilot because uh, he managed to uh, keep it up uh, enough so he could just land at that airfield and uh, uh, repair. But at this point, I've got bigger fish to fry because now I'm being shot at, not only be, uh, by the uh, AA, uh, but also uh, his uh, friend has uh, finally come to his rescue, so now I'm pretty badly damaged. I'm not as maneuverable. And that's one of the things with the boomerang is it's not very maneuverable um, after being hit. So, you know, once the wings start to uh, go black and everything, that thing becomes very unmaneuverable. And so now I'm just trying to get back to my base, but now I'm being followed and chased. So I'm trying my best now. And it's very hard. At this point, I've uh, shot up uh, my elevator so it's I can't really dive to build speed and he's now on me and uh, it's not looking good uh, my last uh, the soul survivor once again and this is just how close these games can be just one or two decisions and uh, that can make or break a game and that pilot was uh, pretty good so he's you know, maneuvering very well of course, I'm trying to maneuver, trying to avoid by warping my wings and everything, but at, th at this point, I can barely move, and yep, there goes my wing. Very ironic, every kill, it seemed, in this game uh, was because someone lost <laughs> their wing. And I'm down, and well, that's going to be the game. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, let me know what you think, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Until next time, this is Tony Kubek, signing out. Have a great day, everyone. Catch you next time.